to subscribe! Let's take a look at Rhodey's day as a human. Open the curtains. Open the windows. Press the alarm clock. Pull off the blanket. Tickle your friend. <laughs> uh, good morning. Wash the face with water. Oh. Put soap on the face. Wash the face with water. Dry the face with a towel. <laughs> Feed your friend. Radishes. <laughs> Beef radish soup. Dried labor. Wow, <laughs> I'm full. Put toothpaste on the toothbrush. Brush the teeth from side to side. Rinse the mouth. Yahoo! Put your friend on the toilet. Help your friend poop. Wow, they poop. That feels good. Push the lever and flush the toilet. Rody is fast asleep. Great job today, Rody. Play the xylophone.
a picture. Put on all the stickers. Find the hidden picture.
differences. <laughs> Put the puzzle together.
the puzzle together. the cards. Yum, yum. Something smells very good here. It looks like Rupee is baking bread for his friends. 
Huh? The bread that used to be on the table is gone. Where did my bread go? What happened? A little later, Bororo and his friends came over. Rupee was sad because he didn't have any bread to give. When Bororo heard the story, Don't worry, Rupee. I will help you find the bread thief. Hmm. Poby's stomach is bulged out. Looks like he has bread in his stomach. He said something and everyone laughed. You know, Poby always had a big belly. At that moment, Eddie showed up with an empty bread basket on his hand. There was a basket lying on the ground on the way. Friends ran over to the place Eddie talked about. Just at the moment, Turi found the mysterious footprint. They followed the footprint into a forest. And there they saw an old house. When they opened the door and went in, a seal was eating the bread. You were the bread thief! The seal didn't know what to do. After a while, the seal apologized to them with all his heart. I am sorry. I was just too hungry. I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> Rupee decided to forgive him just this time. A little later, on this way back, Turi had a good idea. Wanted to make some bread for the poor seal. Then friends started making bread all together. Next morning, the guests came over. Turi. <laughs> <laughs> And his friends gave Seal the bread they made yesterday. Thank you so much! The Seal now has delicious bread and many good friends. Turi is blowing bubbles with his friends. Whose bubbles are the biggest? Whoa! Turi bubbles are the biggest. Then Pororo spoke. Let's try flying on a soap bubble. When Pororo spoke, friends climbed up to the bubble. Then the wind blew, and it blew the bubbles far away. The bubbles flew over to a flower garden that had many pretty flowers. They also gave a ride to Petty, <laughs> who was watering the flowers. Wow! That looks really fun! <laughs> the bubbles flew over to a forest with a lot of delicious fruit. And then they gave a ride to Rupi, who was picking fruit. Wow! I like it! The bubbles flew over to the sea where there were high storms. Splash! Yahoo! Then they gave a ride to Poby, who was fishing. Thanks Yahoo! for the ride! <laughs> the bubbles flew over to a jungle with many strange animals. And they also gave a ride to no! Harry, no! who was bragging about her own no! singing. No! Where? The bubbles flew over to a snow mountain where it snowed very much. And 
and they also gave a ride to Eddie, who was skiing. Uh-huh. That sounds fun. All of a sudden, dark clouds moved in. There was lightning inside the dark clouds. The bubbles couldn't run away from the dark clouds because they were too heavy. In the end, the bubbles were drawn into the dark clouds. When the bubbles popped, friends fell to the ground. <laughs> but everyone safely landed on the springy land. What happened? Aha! The springy land was Tong Tong. Tong Tong flew all the way here to save his friend. Yahoo! Yahoo! When friends came back home with Tong Tong's ride, they sighed deeply and talked to each other about how close it was. But soon after, they smiled and shouted together. So bubble, bubble traveling, traveling is, is really, really the, the best. best.